and welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Tonight's contenders will be answering questions on The Lady with the Lamp, the creator of The Jungle Book, one of Britain's great reforming prime ministers, and the only county cricket club that's not in England. The usual rules apply, two minutes on those subjects and then two and a half minutes on their general knowledge. And this, of course, is the ultimate test of a competitor's knowledge and their nerves. So, let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us, please. Your name is? My name is Corinne Mayo. Your occupation? A retired drama teacher. And your chosen subject? The life and works of Rudyard Kipling. Rudyard Kipling, journalist, poet, novelist, wrote the Just So stories, amongst many others. Two minutes starting now. What international prize was Kipling awarded in 1907 at the age of 41? He remains the youngest recipient. The Nobel Prize. Yes, the Nobel Prize for Literature. In the poem If, what does Kipling call those two impostors that should be treated just the same? Uh, defeat and failure. Defeat Triumph and, and disaster. Oh. Which of Kipling's short stories is a description of the miserable time he and his sister spent as children with a family in South Sea? Barbar Black Sheep. Yes, what is the title of the novel he wrote in collaboration with Walcott Ballastier? A similar name was also given to his house in Vermont. The Naulaka. Yes, when he was at the height of his fame, two new towns in America were named Rudyard and Kipling. In which state? Massachusetts. Michigan. Which of Kipling's poems begins, You may talk of gin and beer when you're quartered safe out here? Gunga Din. Yes. What is the name of the creature who leads Kotick the White Seal to a safe breeding ground in a story from the first Jungle Book? Pass. Kipling and his sister Alice spent many Christmases at the family home of their uncle, who was a pre-Raphaelite artist. Who was he? Burne Jones. Edward yes. Burn Jones. What's the title of the ballad published in the Athenaeum in which Kipling attacks Walter Bizant, William Black and Thomas Hardy because of their attitude to his ongoing copyright argument? The Ballad of the Three Captains. Mm. Yes, The Rhyme of the Three Captains. When Kipling and his family were in South Africa, they frequently stayed at a house called the Woolsack. Who was their host and the owner of the house? Cecil, jo Cecil Rhodes. Yes, one of Kipling's works depicts the exploits of three public schoolboys and mirrors his own antics with his friends at the United Services College in Westwood Ho. Which work? Stalky and Co. Correct. What does Kipling describe in a poem from the Just So stories as an ugly lump, which, well, you may see at the zoo? The hump on the camel. Yes. In Kipling's story, The House Surgeon, a house is believed to cause the people who live in it to have periods of deep depression. What's the house called? The Rock House. Holmescroft. What is the occupation of the character that Helen Terrell meets at a First World War cemetery in the closing paragraphs of one of Kipling's short stories? The Gardener. Indeed, The Gardener. You had uh, one pass, Corinne. The name of the creature who leads Kotek, the white seal, to a safe breeding ground is Sea Cow. You have scored, however, ten points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Nick Levine. Your occupation? Advertising executive. And your chosen subject? Clement Attlee. Clement Attlee, the leader of the Labour Party, beat Churchill to become Prime Minister after the war. Two minutes starting now. Attlee was first elected to Parliament in 1922 as the MP for which London constituency? Limehouse. Yes. What was the last line of the limerick that he wrote about himself, which began, few thought he was even a starter? Pass. Where was Attlee serving when he was severely wounded by shrapnel in 1916? Gallipoli. Mesopotamia. Attlee became a socialist after he volunteered at a boys' club in the East End, where he became the resident manager in 1907. What was its name? Haleybury House. Yes, in 1927, he was appointed to the Statutory Commission on India that was chaired by which liberal politician and lawyer? Simon. Yes. During the interwar period, Attlee was often referred to by the military ranks to which he'd been promoted in 1917. What was it? Major. Yes. At the time of the general strike, Attlee was the chairman of a committee of Stepney Borough Council. Which committee? Attlee became Prime Minister in 1945. What was the first institution that his government nationalised shortly afterwards? The Bank of England. Yes. Which publisher issued his 1937 book, The Labour Party in Perspective? Pass. 
Attlee was one of the two Labour MPs in the five-man war cabinet formed by Winston Churchill in 1940. Who was the other? Arthur Greenwood. Yep. The NHS was formed under Attlee's government in 1948. What was the name of the president of the Board of Trade who resigned from his cabinet in protest at proposals to introduce some charges to the service? Nye Bevan. Harold Wilson. In 1939, which Labour MP wrote two articles in which she suggested that Herbert Morrison would be a more effective leader of the party than Attlee? Ellen Wilkinson. Yes. In 1947, Attlee gave which future Labour Party leader his first ministerial job as Parliamentary Secretary at the Ministry of Transport? Hugh Gateskill. Jim Callaghan. Attlee employed an ex-soldier to help look after him after the death of his wife Violet in 1964. What was his name? Leslie Rowan. Alfred Laker. What is the title of his memoirs, published in 1954, which have been described as one of the least interesting political autobiographies ever written? As it happened. Yes. What secondary title that was used by his son and heir, Martin, did Attlee receive when he was created Earl Attlee in 1955? He'd once joked that he was given a peerage, he'd take the title Lord Loverduck of Limehouse. Viscount Presswood. Yes, he is correct. Three passes, Mick. Uh, Victor Galance was his publisher. Electricity was the committee that he chaired for Stepney Borough Council. And that limerick, few thought he was even a starter, an earl and a knight of the garter. Mick, you have nine points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. Your name is? David Cowan. Your occupation? Retired Information Systems Architect. And your chosen subject? Glamorgan County Cricket Club. Which has been around for 130 years, yeah. won the county championship three times. Yeah. Two minutes on Glamorgan, starting now. Which Glamorgan bowler was famously hit for 36 runs in one over by Gary Sobers at the St Helens ground in Swansea in August 1968? Malcolm Nash. Yes, in what year did Glamorgan win the county championship for the first time? 1948. Yep. Who took eight catches against Derbyshire in 1970 to set a county record for most catches taken by a fielder in a first-class match? Peter Walker. Yes. In 1993, Glamorgan won their first Sunday League trophy when they defeated which county in the final game of the season? Kent. Yep. Which bowler took a record 176 wickets for the county in the 1937 season? Johnny Clay. Yes. The Australian bowler, Mike Kasrovich, twice took nine wickets in an innings in matches against which county in 2003? Derbyshire. Durham. Oh. Two batsmen scored over 2,000 runs in the 1990 season. One was the captain, Hugh Morris. Who was the other? Alan Butcher. Yes. In 2000, in a game at Colwyn Bay, Steve James became the first Glamorgan player to reach a batting milestone. What was it? A triple hundred. Yep. Who became the youngest player to make his first class debut for the county when he made his only appearance at the age of 15 in 1922? Gabe Jones. Yep. Don Shepherd equaled the world record for the fastest half century at Cardiff in 1961 against which touring side? South Africa. Australia. Okay. Who reached his century with three successive sixes on his debut for the county against Yorkshire in August 1985? Matthew Maynard. Yes. James Harris became the youngest bowler to take 10 wickets in a match when he took 12 for 118 against which county in 2007? Nottinghamshire. Gloucestershire. At which Cardiff venue did Glamorgan play most of their first-class fixtures before they moved to Sapphire Gardens at the start of the 67 season? The Arms Park. Yes. What was remarkable about Peter Judge's two dismissals by the same bowler in a match against the Indian tourists in 1946? He's off successive balls in two Yes, years. in successive balls. Which Glamorgan batsman scored over 34,000 first-class runs for the county and played once for England in the unofficial series against the rest of the world in 1970? Alan Jones. Yes. In 1960. Which player was named as one of Wisdom's Cricketers of the Year? He was the first Glamorgan cricketer to receive this accolade since Maurice Turnbull in 1931. John Shepherd. Ossie Wheatley. Oh. Not to worry, Dave. No passes. You have scored 12 points. Thank you. <laughs> and our final contender, please. name is? Matilda Southwood. Your occupation? Civil servant. And your chosen subject? The life of Florence Nightingale. 
A lady with the lamp in the Crimean War who truly transformed nursing. Two minutes on her starting now. What honour was bestowed on Nightingale in 1907 by King Edward VII? She was the first woman to receive the award. The Order of Merit. Yes. In September 1837, she went on a grand tour of Europe because one of her family homes was being refurbished. Which one? Embley Park. Yes. Who was the Minister for War who asked Nightingale to write a full report on the conditions in army hospitals during the Crimean War? In the report, she concluded, our soldiers are enlisted to die in barracks. Sydney Herbert. Uh, Lord Panmure, in what area of Constantinople were the two large army hospitals where Nightingale first worked when she arrived in Turkey? Scutari. Yes. When she visited Rome in 1847, she had an audience with the newly elected Pope. Which one? Pope Christian. Pius IX. Nightingale's sister was known by her middle name, which came from a Greek word for Naples, where she was born. What was the name? Parthenope. Yes. In 1848, Nightingale planned a trip to Carlsbad. Which English spa town did she go to instead after riots broke out near Carlsbad? Leamington Spa. More than. At what London hospital did she establish her school of nursing? St Thomas's. Yes. What's the title of the poem written by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow that eulogises the work of Nightingale during the Crimean War and describes her as a lady with a lamp? Santa Philomena. Yes. What was the name of the poet and politician who proposed to her during an eight-year courtship? He finished the relationship when her final answer was no. Richard Monckton Mills. Yes. What name did Nightingale give to the owl that she kept as a pet after it had fallen from its nest? Athena. Yes. Which of her aunts visited her at the Barrack Hospital in Scutari in the autumn of 1855? She helped her with administrative duties. Aunt May. Yes, Aunt May Smith. In which London hotel did Nightingale live for five years after she returned to England in 1856? Her suite of rooms was called the Little War Office. The Burlington. Yes. Who was the diplomatic correspondent from the Times in Constantinople who wrote the report describing the appalling conditions in Scutari that prompted Nightingale to travel to Turkey? Wh William Howard Russell. Thomas Chenery. What was the name of the nursing institute on the River Rhine where she trained as a lay deaconess to serve the poor? Kaiservet. Kaiservet is correct. You have uh, no passes, Matilda. You've scored 11 points. <laughs> so now it is time to invite all our contenders back into the studio together. So, the general knowledge round now. Two and a half minutes of questions this time, and if there's a tie at the end of it, the person with the fewer passes is the winner, and if they're tied on passes as well, there has to be a tie break. And do remember, by the way, that the contenders don't know what each other has scored so far. So, for everyone at home, let's have a look at all the scores. And, as always, we start with the contender with the lowest score. So, let me ask Mick. And you start this round with nine points. You've got two and a half minutes of general knowledge. So, here we go. Sheet, fork and ball are types of what meteorological phenomenon? Lightning. Yep. Which 19th century horror novel by Mary Shelley is subtitled The Modern Prometheus? Frankenstein. Yes. Doric and Ionic are two of the three orders of classical Greek architecture defined by a particular type of column. What's the third? Corinthian. Yes. In motorsport, the Molzan Strait is the fastest part of an eight-and-a-half-mile circuit that stages an annual endurance race. What race? Le Mans. Yep. Which English city was known in Roman times as Aquae Sules? It was dedicated to the Celtic goddess Sul, who was amalgamated with Minerva by the Romans. Bath. Yes. What is the common name for the segmented blood-sucking worm Herudo Medicinalis? Leech? Yes. Zadie Smith's 2006 Orange Prize winning novel On Beauty is an homage to what work by E.M. Foster? Howard's End? Yes. In which country was the modern form of the balalaika developed in the 19th century? Russia? Yes. The sackbut, a 15th century brass instrument with a slide to vary its pitch, is an early version of what modern orchestral instrument? Trombone? Yep. In 1976, while he was still in his early 20s, Tony Miles became the first Briton to reach the rank of Grand Master in what game? Chess. Yes. What is the name of Diane Morgan's alter ego who considers Britain's past in her 2018 mockumentary television series? Pass. The Cat and Mouse Act of 1913 was enacted to deal with the problem of a group of hunger strikers. What group? Pass. Which country's highest peak is Mount Ararat, where Noah's Ark is supposed to have come to rest? Israel. 
Turkey. Which singer and actor received an Oscar nomination for playing Dolly Pelica, a worker at a plutonium processing plant in the film Silkwood? Pass. In what method of cooking that derives its name from the French for hot coals are meat or vegetables fried and then stewed slowly in a small amount of liquid? Pass. Who was the American president from 1909 to 1913? He went on to become Chief Justice from 1921 to 1930. William Howard Taft. Yes. What Spanish word for male is used to describe a person who exhibits pride in characteristics believed to be typically masculine? Macho. Yes. The last book of the New Testament is sometimes called the Apocalypse of John. By what name is it more generally known? Deuteronomy. Revelation of St John. 46 Albert Square is the address of which television pub? Which visual defect is also known as Daltonism because the scientist John Dalton discovered that he and his brother suffered from it? Colour blindness. Colour blindness is correct. You had uh, five passes. 46 Albert Square is the Queen Vic. Braising is that uh, culinary process, cooking with very little water. The singer who got an Oscar nomination was Cher. The Cat and Mouse Act was enacted to deal with the suffragettes. And the name of Diane Morgan's alter ego in that mockumentary telly series, Philomena Clunk. Nick, you have now a total of 22 points. <laughs> and now, Corinne again, please. And uh, you start this round, Corinne, with 10 points. The score to beat, as you have just heard, is. 22. And you have two and a half minutes of general knowledge questions to do it in. Here we go. What legendary creature is traditionally killed by driving a wooden stake through its heart? Vampire. Yes. Who entered the UK top ten for the fourth time with her single Babushka in 1980? Madonna. Kate Bush. The only sports that women were allowed to compete in during the first British Empire Games held in Canada in 1930 were both aquatic. Swimming was one of them. What was the other? Water polo? Diving. What word that comes on the names of two Greek deities is used for an animal or flower that has male and female reproductive organs? Hermaphrodite? Yes. Which constellation features on the flags of Australia and New Zealand? Southern Cross. Yes. What is the subtitle of episode eight of the Star Wars films released in 2017? The Empire Strikes Back. The Last Jedi. In Italian cuisine, what seafood is used in a dish described as alle vongole? Clams. Yes. Who wrote after he'd asked that his ashes be scattered on the Lakeland Peak of Haystacks? If you should get a bit of grit in your boot as you're crossing Haystacks, please treat it with respect. It might be me. <sighs> Pass. Henry VIII broke from the Church of Rome over the issue of his divorce from one of his wives. What was her name? Anne Boleyn. Catherine of uh, Aragon. What is the title of the comedy series in which Leslie Manville plays a widow named Cathy who looks after her fractious family? Pass. Who was the sister of the painter Vanessa Bell? She was a writer and fellow member of the Bloomsbury Group. Virginia Woolf. Yes. What name for an elected officer responsible for maintaining law and order in an American county historically meant the king's representative in an English county? Sheriff. Yes, Sheriff. Mozart's 41st and last symphony shares a name with what planet? Jupiter. Yes. Who's regarded as the first patriarch of the Jewish people? He's also revered in Christianity and Islam. David. Abraham. What metallic element, an important constituent of bones and teeth, is found in dairy products and some green leafy vegetables? Calcium. Yes. In 2007, the United Nations declared an annual International Day of Nonviolence to be held on the 2nd of October. Whose birthday does it commemorate? Uh, the first general secretary. Mahatma Gandhi. Yeah. Julia Margaret Cameron, who was born in 1815, was an unconventional and innovative early pioneer of what art form? Pass. What substance obtained from the swim bladders of fish, such as sturgeon, is used as finings in beer manufacture and was formerly used in cookery for making jellies? I got no. No, Isinglass. Three passes, Corinne. Julia Margaret Cameron was famous for photography. The comedy series in which uh, Leslie Manville played Cathy was Mum. And that wonderful quote about <laughs> if you get a bit of grit in your boot as you're crossing the haystack, it might be me. It was Alfred Wainwright. You have a total, Corinne, of 18 points. <laughs> and next into the chair, Matilda.
Matilda, you start this round with 11 points and the score to beat is still 22. Let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Which Italian city is famous for its canals and has a main square dominated by the San Marco Cathedral? Venice. Yep. Who reportedly said, should graffiti be judged on the same level as modern art? Of course not. It's way more important than that. Pass. Which Olympic gymnastic discipline is performed by women to music of their choice and by men without music? The floor? Yes. Which jazz and pop vocalist who has dual Canadian and Italian citizenship topped the UK album charts for the third time in April 2013 with To Be Loved? Celine Dion. Michael Bublé. What word for an organism that attacks living cells is used for a destructive programme on a computer? Virus. Yes. The name of which breed of large domestic cat with a bushy tail that originated in New England comes from the folk belief that it's part raccoon? Persian. Maine Coon. Which Spanish musician who died aged 94 in 1987 re-established the guitar as a concert instrument and enlarged its repertoire by transcribing pieces written for other instruments? Django Reinhardt. Segovia. What is the title of the television series made in Italy and first shown in 2014 that deals with the power struggles within a crime syndicate in Naples? The family. Gomorra. Which port, 10 miles from Bruges, has a name that means Bruges on a sea? Zeebrugge. The moon is said to be waning when it's going from full to new. What term is used for the opposite phases? Waxing. Yes. Who became the first woman and the first Scot to be appointed Poet Laureate when she succeeded Andrew Motion in 2009? Caroline Duffy. Yes. Which organisation that campaigns on behalf of political prisoners won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1977? Amnesty International. Yes. Which war that broke out in 1618 was ended by the series of treaties known as the Peace of Westphalia in October 1648? The Thirty Years' War. Yes. The Green Gage is a small, sweet variety of what fruit? Plum. Yes. Which comedian's film roles include the toy maker in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and Professor Simon Peach in The Italian Job? Um, pass. Who was the third of the great Athenian dramatists of the 5th century BC along with Aeschylus and Euripides? Sophocles. Yes. What name that means lion is bestowed on all male Sikhs in a ceremony shortly after birth? Sink. Yes, the town of Northwich in Cheshire has been a centre for the extraction of what substance since Roman times? Coal. Salt. In May 2006, Margaret Beckett became the first woman to hold what senior cabinet post? Speaker. No, Foreign Secretary. You had uh, two passes, Matilda. Benny Hill played the toy maker and Professor Simon Peach and graffiti, the man was... Banksy. Oh. <laughs> Always a good idea to take a gamble on Banksy and Graffiti, isn't it? Anyway, Matilda, you have a total now of 21 points. <laughs> and finally, David again, please. And, David, you start out with 12 points. That score of 22 has yet to be beaten. Let's see if you can do it and, therefore, claim a place in the semi-final. Here we go. Two and a half minutes of general knowledge. Which British director's films include Vertigo, Psycho and The Birds? Alfred Hitchcock. Yes. Which American pop artist created the film Empire in 1964 as a single stationary shot of the Empire State Building as night falls? It lasts eight hours and nothing happens. Andy Warhol. Yes. What name, derived from Latin and Greek words for to stretch, is given to the bands of fibrous tissue that attach muscle to bone? Sinews? No, tendons. Which apostle, according to the Gospel of Matthew, betrayed Jesus to the chief priest for 30 pieces of silver? Judith Iscariot. Yes. What is the family relationship between the novelists A.S. Byatt and Margaret Drabble? They're sisters. They are. Which Yorkist king who usurped the throne of his nephew Edward V reigned from 1483 to 1485? Richard III. Yes. What mythical animal represents Scotland and stands opposite the Lion of England supporting the shield in the royal coat of arms? Unicorn. Yes. What fruit is attacked by the fungus noble rot? It's sometimes encouraged and produced is an intensely sweet end product. Crepes. Yes. Which Canadian-born dancer and television personality was one of the team captains on Give Us a Clue and later the host of Name That Tune? Lionel Blair. Yes. What Latin name for swordsman was given in ancient Rome to a man trained to fight in arenas to provide entertainment? Gladiator. Yes. Who plays Velvet Brown's niece Sarah in the 1978 sequel to the 44 Elizabeth Taylor film National Velvet? Annette Newman.
Tatum O'Neill. Oh. The man-made Lake Assad on the Euphrates River is the largest body of water in what country? Iraq. Syria. Under what name did Lynn Ripley briefly achieve fame in the pop charts in the 1960s with the song Terry? Twinkle. Yes, the villainous monks, whose real name is Edward Leaford, is the half-brother of a youthful Dickensian hero who... David Copperfield. Oliver Twist. Mm -hmm. In the metric system, which unit prefix widely used in computing denotes a multiplying factor of 10 to the power of 9? Nano. Giga. Okay. Cape Horn, located on Hornos Island off the southern tip of mainland South America, is in which country? Chile. Yes. Who was heavily criticised when he whistled God Save the Queen as he received the gold medal for the decathlon at the 1984 Olympics? Daley Thompson. Yes. In what ballet with music by Tchaikovsky does the Sugar Plum Fairy dance in the Kingdom of Sweets? The Nutcracker. Yes. What title is held by the official responsible for administration and security in the House of Commons? Black Rod is the equivalent position in the Lords. Sergeant at Arms. Yes. In which stage musical, first produced in 1963, did Tommy Steele sing Flash Bang Wallop and Long Ago? Half a sixpence. Is correct. No passes, David. You have 27 points, which means you are the winner. <laughs> so, a clear victor. Let's have a look at all of those scores. In fourth place, with 18 points, Corin. Third place, 21 points, Matilda. Second place, 22 points, Mick. First place, 27 points, David. And he goes through for the semi finals. <laughs> and if you would like to be a contender on the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.